Thank you for attending the training on how to import contacts into the Business eTouch CRM program. It's really very easy to do. The first step, of course, is to open up your Excel spreadsheet and then you need to map out your columns. You know, and the columns run from, you know, up and down here. Uh, if you need to get a better look at them, you can grab the top here and spread it out a little bit so you can see exactly what it is is in those columns. But you're going to map this out. So I've taken a piece of scratch paper and I've got, you know, column one is the lead number, column two is the first name, then last name, address, city, state, zip, and so on. Okay, so I've got that all um, mapped out. I know what I want. I might have cleaned this up where I could have deleted some columns maybe so that it was cleaned up and a little easier to import. But now I've got my spreadsheet all ready to go. So I'm going to close this out. I don't need to save it because it's already been saved. Okay. And now I'm going to, from the Business eTouch program, I'm going to click on Contact Manager. And then I'm going to click on Import Contacts. Okay. Now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 columns that I want to import. So I'm going to put 13 in here. And I'm going to click Add. And now it's created all 13 columns. So now I have to just map this out exactly like my spreadsheet. And remember, we're going from left to right, and then the second row. You don't go from top to bottom. So starting with column one, or field one, my field one is a lead number. Now I don't really care about importing in the lead number, so I'm going to leave that not used. And I'm going to go to column two, and I'm going to do first name, column three, last name. And notice these are basic info because this is in the basic info section. Uh, and then, so then we get to uh, number four is the address, the street address, column four, five, city, state, and zip. And then I've got county. Now, I don't care about importing in the county either, so I'm going to leave this blank. So then I'll go on to the phone number. And I'm going to put that in main phone. Then the next one is cell phone. The one after that is email. So I'm going to choose email one. And then I've got the weight. Now, the weight is no longer in the basic info. It's down in the primary contact. So I'm going to scroll down to primary contact, and I'm going to choose weight. And then the last thing I have is date of birth. And again, that's in the primary contact field. So I'll go here. And you see, in my, my spreadsheet said DOB. My field in Business he touch is birthday. So I'm going to choose the birthday, and then it'll import that in. The, the names of the fields don't have to match up. You're just telling it where to put that information in the Business he touch program. Okay, and remember, this is important. I have two fields here that I didn't care about importing in. So I had to leave these blank here so that everything gets lined up properly. Now I'm going to put these in the test group. You can see down at the bottom, I've got the test group. Let me move this up here a little bit just so you can see for sure. So I've got the test group. And then the first row of my spreadsheet is a header. So I'm going to put a check mark in this box. Then I'm going to select the CSV file. And it's in my desktop. And I've got these in alphabetical order. So I can scroll down. It was on a training video. So here's my training and import CSV. So I've got there. You can see here it's been, it's been brought in. So I've got it up there. Now all I have to do is click Import. And it's going to pull up the first 50 contacts. You can see it just shows the first 50. But it puts them all in here. And I can look and make sure it's right. So I've got the first name, last name, address, city, state, zip, phone, cell. I can scroll on over here. See, I got the email right, the weight, and the birthday. So great. Everything got imported in properly. I'm good. So now all I have to do is click Next Step up here. 
and it will import all of these contacts into the system and you can see it's imported in 252 contacts inserted. One of them was not brought in and that's because that contact was already in the system. So we won't, we won't duplicate a contact. But when we import, we will override old information. So if you need to import information in that's new to a group of people, you can override old fields and put in new information. So now I can go back in here just to check if I wanted to check and make sure. I can go down and I can choose the test group. And you can see I've got 252 contacts in that test group. And they're all here. So then, of course, I could click on them and work them or whatever. But that's as easy as it is to import contacts into the system. It's important to remember that you have a CSV file. You cannot export in just an Excel file. You have to save it in a CSV format. And let me just show you that real quick to make sure that if you don't understand how that works. When you have your Excel file open, you can click on File, Save As, and it opens up your save window. You're going to type in whatever you want, but then this bottom window here, okay, opens up and it shows you, it has all sorts of different extensions in here to save under. And so what you would do is you would just look and you're going to find the CSV comma delimited. It might just say CSV Microsoft, you know, it, it often it'll, you know, save it, you know, give you different options. You know, CSV is what you have to have and that's what's important. So I uh, hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, as always, don't hesitate to call us at 406-558-4093. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.